What is up, YouTube? Two Old Logan here. It's been a while, guys. Um, sorry, I haven't put out a video in a while. I I've said it before and uh, saying it again. Life life has uh, been getting in the way, and uh, haven't been as into making videos. And I apologize for that. I I hate that you know this kind of takes a back seat to. Um, everything else in life and to be honest it's not just the the vlogging and making videos that has taken a back seat it's just riding in general um i i haven't been on the bike and it's been a couple months and i hate it it's uh not what i was looking for um i have got to get gas so we're gonna head over here to the 7-eleven next to base I got lucky and got off work a couple hours early to start the Memorial Day weekend off right. Guess that's what we're gonna do. Wow. Okay. You know what's cool is I have a motorcycle and I can fit in these tiny, tiny places. Yeah! That's the entrance to base, by the way. You ever watch, uh... Quantico TV show or Criminal Minds or anything else based out of Quantico, Virginia. It's right over there. I'm gonna pull up here, grab some gas, and we'll uh, we'll keep on with the video. So Waze told me before I left that it was gonna be about 50 minutes to get home on 95. It's normally only about 25 minutes. So I'm sure that means that it, it is absolutely ridiculous with all the Memorial Day traffic. So we're just gonna go the long way, which is probably gonna be the equal way. I'll just enjoy the scenery of historic Route 1. This pollen is killing my eyes, but it's too hot to close my visor. So the first order of business today, I'd like to wish a very happy birthday to my oldest nephew, Corbin. Today is his actual birthday. Um, well, at the time of filming. Yeah, hopefully I'll get this out within the next couple days. Um, but you've probably seen him in a lot of my videos where uh, I do any of the dirt biking back in Lynchburg. He's always out and about and ripping it up. I actually got him a new chain for his dirt bike for his birthday, and that should have delivered a couple days ago. So, happy birthday, buddy. I know you watch my videos from time to time. That's also the reason why I've tried to clean up the language on my videos quite a bit is because he found my channel and likes watching the videos, and so I want to make sure it's as family-friendly as possible. So, if anybody in the comments want to drop a, uh, a happy birthday to him, I'm sure he'd appreciate that when he sees it. If you paid attention to any, like the pictures that I post of the bike, um, you might notice that the seat got all tore up. Like it was, uh, it was starting to come up just on the edges for whatever reason. Uh, I finally got fed up with it and I took it to an upholstery shop to get it fixed. Um, and that's the shop right there. So shout out to Auto Marine Upholstery in Dumfries, Virginia. Did a great job, fairly reasonable price. Um, and the seat's pretty cool, it's like, uh, I was afraid of it not matching the rest of like the back seat or whatever. Um, after I got it, I didn't really care because it looks really good and it's like sea dew seat material, so it's completely waterproof. And uh, I put it to the test yesterday washing it, and sure enough, it just water just wicks right off of it. So it's pretty sweet and it makes the bike look a lot better without having the torn up seat and everything. So pretty awesome. A lot of changes to the bike, got her all nice and cleaned up, and uh, that's because it is, uh, it's for sale. Yep, you heard that right. The old ninja's for sale. As y'all are all well aware of, I, I haven't really gotten a chance to really ride a whole lot since I've made the move back up here to Northern Virginia, and part of that is just laziness. Uh -oh. I'll be honest with you on that, but another part is that uh, it's a whole different atmosphere up here. Um, when I lived down in Alabama, which is where I really started riding at, um, there's a lot of wide open roads, not a whole lot of traffic. Uh, riding was a lot simpler, and riding a sport bike was 
easy. You know, all the little shortcomings. Hi, puppy. Oh no, don't be mad at me. I just want to be your friend. No. He hates me. Riding sport bikes was easy, and you know, the little, the little things about sport bikes, like being uncomfortable and uh, like strain on the wrists and, and overheating and things like that, those weren't really a problem because you never hit points where that was like a big issue. And um, since I moved up here, my primary riding has been just commuting, and a lot of that time has just been on the interstate. And the bike just doesn't like that, and, and it, it's uncomfortable for me. Uh, I'm also getting older, and uh, like I, I say that I'm turning 28 in like a week, um, but I feel it. Uh, my wrists hurt. Hey, there's a there's a Harley behind me. hurt a lot of times uh, after a long commute um, you know sitting in stop and go traffic where you're just sitting there and modulating the throttle over and over and over again uh, is not an enjoyable thing to do especially not on a sport bike um, and so I kind of want something that's a little more comfortable and a, lot, a little more friendly to me <coughs> and a little more commuter friendly um, and I have in mind what that is I went and looked at a uh, bike a couple, well, it was last weekend. Forgot it's like rolling thunder this weekend, so I see a lot of Harleys out. And most of them have waved at me, except for this guy. But I went and looked at a bike last weekend. And I won't tell you what it is, because you know, I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna get it or not. Uh, but I'm in love. And I don't care who knows it. And um, unfortunately, they wouldn't take my bike as a trade because it's, you know, 12 years old. And for whatever reason, I guess they just hate me. Much like that dog back there. Um, so I'm having to sell it outright, which isn't a horrible thing. I'd, I'm probably going to get a little more money for it, I think, than, uh, than what I would have gotten on trade in. But uh, it's, it's a little bit of a hassle and put it up on Craigslist about five days ago. So you can find the Craigslist ad up on uh, Washington, D.C. Craigslist if you so choose. If you're interested, uh, you can contact me and we can, you know, you can work on buying this piece of YouTube history. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's... Uh, it's typically what you expect from that's a cool looking bike. Um, what you expect from Craigslist. I've had a handful of scams and you know, a few people that want to look at it and schedule times and I never hear from them again. And you know, lowball offers and whatnot. Uh, so we can get into that later. <laughs> uh, that's actually probably a good topic for once this actually does sell. Um, but yeah, so the bike's for sale. Um, new bike possible in the future um you know i'm not going to be without a bike and uh i'm excited about it i, I i'm genuinely excited about it and I, i'm trying to make this my motivator to actually get out and get more riding in because i miss it and, like even though most of my time is spent sitting in traffic um the little spurts that i get to just really rip it up or open up the throttle make it all the more worthwhile so yeah that's uh that's where that's at and so we'll see i'll keep you all abreast of it obviously i wouldn't just leave you hanging i'm not gonna leave myself sans motorcycle speaking of motorcycles i hear one what's up buddy hey that guy went out of his way to swing up and give me a finger point so right back at you cuz some other exciting news in the two-wheeled Logan world. We got a new job. Just started on Monday. I know you're saying, Logan, you change jobs all the time. This isn't really that exciting. That's a giant ice cream cone, by the way. Um, yeah, you're right, I do. But uh, in this last job I stayed at for like two years. Um, and I actually 
didn't really change change jobs. I actually just got hired on by the company I was contracting with and um, for a whole new program. So it came with a uh, a pretty nice salary increase and uh, some more stability in my job. So I actually hopefully will be here for quite a while. And um, you know we're not moving again for another job. Also, that's where I bought my Jeep at. So screw that place. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if I've told you or not. I sold the Jeep like eight months ago. I owned it for like a year. I did not like that car and I, I regret buying it. Um, but anyways, yeah, got this new job and it, uh, it's going alright. It's been pretty slow so far, but I'm sure it'll pick up in the future. I have a lot more responsibilities than I did previously. I'm like the, the one-man heavy hitter on the team versus uh, where I was like one of five on the last team. So uh, it's pretty exciting and um, a lot of room for some upward mobility. So uh, yeah, it's a really good opportunity and the, the salary was very nice and it is... Uh, a lot of what's driving the decision for the new bike as well, or at least facilitating it. Yeah, yeah, I'm a nice guy. Probably the nicest you ever met. Hey, spray me off. I'm so hot. <laughs> Dying. It's like exposed manholes are gonna be the death of me out here. Love the color of that bike. Anyways, as much as I'm sure y'all are enjoying just having me sit and talk in traffic, this is another thing that kind of cuts, that like makes motovlogging up here very difficult, is it? it's like always in traffic. Like, what's the one thing you don't want to see in a video? People just talking while they sit in traffic. What is about the only thing that's on the road in Northern Virginia? Traffic. It's very rare that I can actually go like three full miles sans traffic that isn't the interstate, which on the interstate you can barely hear me talk because the wind's so loud. So like, what? there's no real option unless I go way out in the sticks and so it's like an hour to ride out to do a vlog and then come back, that doesn't happen. So, sorry. My quick little rant, um, that's another thing that just really like grinds my gears about trying to uh, trying to make vlogs up here. It's, it's, it's a little more difficult than it used to be back when my ride to work at the auto plant I used to work at in Tuscaloosa was a perfect time to vlog because it was just nice like back roads the entire way. Or my ride to hunt, uh, to my job at, uh, in Huntsville was the same way. Like it was, it was a nice, nice commuting. Now up here it's like Satan's butthole to commute. You know they actually called one of the stretches on 95 uh, up around us like the third worst traffic in all of the country? It's crazy, man. Like right behind like New York, like uh, LA on the 405 and uh, New York. Also, there's the Five Guys Burgers and Fries corporate headquarters, um, which is kind of cool, I guess, if you like Five Guys. I Hot take, I don't. So one final thing before I close out. I have some exciting news coming down the pipe very shortly. Uh, I won't fully announce what it is yet because I'm planning to do a, a little uh, video collaboration thing with the other vlogger that it involves here uh, very soon. So just keep your eyes peeled on my channel as well as his. I'll give you the first hint. It's going to be my buddy Snowdrift. Um, so you can go check out his channel as well. He's, he's doing some great stuff and he's on the rise. I think he just hit like 200 subs the other day. Um, so congratulations, buddy. So yeah, keep an eye out. It's gonna be really awesome. Something I've been wanting to do for a very long time and luckily I get to share it with some really good friends of mine and, and a fellow vlogger. So that adds an extra little uh, little piece to it. So um, I'll just keep it at that. Hopefully we'll have something out here in the next couple days. Um, but anyways, guys, hey, thank y'all for watching. Thanks for sticking in there, the people that do watch. I know, um, like everything's kind of screwy in, in YouTube world and uh, I just really appreciate the people that have stuck around and, and watched my videos and 
uh, have especially stuck around in the, these times when I'm just not uh, not putting out videos and I hate it and I'm really sorry but I can't change it or I can't take it back but I can I can try my best to change it and try to get out and ride some more and get some more stuff done and I think that this summer is going to be a whole lot of fun and I actually have a lot more time than I did last summer so uh, we'll see if I can live up to these actual goals and objectives I'm trying to set for myself but anyways guys thanks again I'll see y'all on the lookout be on the lookout on both myself and snow Dish channels very soon and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one later